Hello folks, welcome for, to another episode of Talking Coins. This is episode number four. Uh, the, today we're going to talk about thrippances, okay? So we're going to talk about uh, the uh, coins. They ran from 1910 through to 1964. There's a 1910. Uh, so in 1910... Uh, the first coins arrived from England, okay? Um, the, the first ship arrived on the 1st of March. Didn't have anything on it, had, had shillings on that one. Didn't have any thrippences on that one. But later in the year, the first lot of thrip, uh, thrippences arrived with the florins and the sixpence, all on the same vessel, right? So, however, in 1910, right, uh, Edward, King Edward died. Okay, now they'd already produced these these coins. So the Edward coins, the Edward uh, thrippences, only came out in 1910. Now, some value to them, but not a lot of value because there was a lot of them printed sort of thing. Um, so, pretty much then we go through 1.4 grams there is full weight. These are 92% silver. Then we go to 1911 to 1936, which is the uh, George uh, thrip. And then 1938 to 1938 to 1948, uh, the wheat thrippances uh, with George on there, of course. Now, from 1948, all silver coins, before 1948, all silver coins were 92% silver little bit of uh, copper in them. So once we get past 1948, right, we're talking about 50% silver and 40% copper and a bit of other stuff sort of thing. Um, so we've got, we've got two year dates there. Of course, George uh, from 1949 to 1952, and then that's the, that's the George. Uh, and then 1953 to 1964, Elizabeth, uh, the start of the Elizabeth, of course. So obviously those two dates from 1949 on, they're 50% silver. Um, so the thrip, the thrippence, and three pence has been around really the English, English threepence was first minted in 1551. So this is based on a very, very old coin. Um, obviously, these were minted just for Australia. Um, but, uh, you know, Fiji had them and New Zealand and a few other Commonwealth countries had thrippences as well. So, um, so it was made, really it was made in London, uh, minted in Mon London, Melbourne, Sydney. Then during World War II, because there was a huge shortage, um, it was also minted in... Uh, Denver and San Francisco. We've got uh, the mint mark there. You can see the S under the uh, under the ribbon there. Um, that's obviously a mint, uh, one made in San Francisco. Um, so very, very interesting. So there's some key dates to remember here with these if you're looking for coins. Uh, the 1942 Melbourne um, is... Uh, is a high value coin, twelve dollars for 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 a good one to twelve thousand. Uh, then the 1934, 45, 45 bucks for a reasonable one to eleven thousand dollars. But there is a coin. I don't want to talk too much about errors here, but there's an overstrike here, over date I should say. Uh, that's it up there on the screen. You can see that it's a 1922 with a light strike of a 1921 on top of it. You can see the last two there of the date. Uh, that's where the biggest value in these thrippances are. Um, there was a fair few of them printed, uh, or minted I should say, and vary from sort of five odd thousand um, for a pretty good one up to 125,000, but even poor quality ones of these will get you, you know, 
in the two, three thousand dollar mark. So just bear that in mind if you see a 1922 thrip with uh, the over, over date. Um, so just bear that in mind. So mint dates, uh, mint marks are as normal, of course, L for London, M for Melbourne, S for Sydney, uh, Denver's a D, and S for San Francisco. Um, so that's Strippenses, okay? Um, we're going to uh, go through all the rest of the coins um, at, at a later date. Don't forget if you need more detail, uh, the Renix, Renix site just there, uh, that's where you can buy the book uh, with all the Australian coins in it, gives you updated values and all that sort of thing. And of course, up the top there is the Daylight Helpline. If you have one of these coins and you need me to look it up or uh, you would like some advice on that, feel free to give me a, a call. It's open when the sun is up in Australia. Um, bear in mind, I am not the world's greatest coin expert, but I am more than happy to help you out where I can. Okay, folks, thanks very much for that. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. You've made it to the end. Um, so thank you very much for that and being part of the Gold Digger Nation. Don't forget, you can see us on, over this direction, all of these channels. Um, and also, on the Daylight Helpline, you can feel, feel free to give us a ring. Uh, customer or not, feel free to give us a ring and ask for advice. Thanks very much, guys. See you next time.